I just thought it'd be a good idea to do this quick video on how to install WordPress to your website and the only reason I'm doing this is because the layout of the screen has changed slightly and if you're watching this during watching one of my other videos don't worry because nothing much has actually changed just the layout of the screen so some of you may be a little bit confused but most of you will be fine but I thought I'd do this video just in case so as you may already know the first thing you need to do is go to your cPanel login and you'll receive your cPanel link username and password on your email when you sign up for your hosting account so same as before log into your cPanel same as before go down and look for the software and services section and then click on quick install now this is the screen that has slightly changed so make sure you're in the one click installs area previously you would have been able you would have been able to easily find how to install WordPress now there's just a few more options so um, it's a little confusing you can either click on install WordPress that tab over here or if you've got it on the left hand side go to WordPress you'll see there are a few different options presented there are some premium upsells and we don't need any of these like I promised WordPress is a free installation and you're looking at it right here in this box here install WordPress for free and when you do this you're doing exactly the same thing I show you in my other videos except the layout of this screen has changed it looks different but the action is exactly the same you're installing the free version of WordPress so don't worry nothing has really changed so click on install WordPress your website should appear in this box here automatically if it doesn't just select it from the drop down below I'm going to be using this as the demo ensure there's nothing in this box here so there's absolutely nothing in there leave it blank for admin email enter your own personal email address one that you can access blog title is the same as the title for your website so if you've got a um, a shop name a business name whatever that is enter it in here admin user I like to leave that as admin and then enter your first and last name and you will need to enter all these details before you can progress so doing this is exactly the same as what I show you in my videos just a different layout so just in case you are confused there you go that's all you need to do click install WordPress you can see at the top your installation is running and is now complete click here to view notifications okay now it will give you your admin area URL and your username and password and so now go back to the video that you've been watching the full how to make a website or how to make an e-commerce video that you've been watching and continue on from where you left off and I'll show you what you need to do from here on in the next step involves um, changing sorry logging in to your admin area that URL there your website forward slash WP dash admin using your username and password keep in mind um, sometimes it can take about 20 to 30 minutes for this to be activated so if you get a blank page come back later and try but anyway go back to the video you were watching previously and continue on where you left off if you have any questions for me please do ask in the comments and I will be happy to help you out